Today's two minutes of science is all about this simple do-it-yourself camera kit that can be purchased for about ten dollars. It's a dual lens reflex camera and it's pretty interesting and it looks a lot like the old brownie cameras. Uh, if you're that old or if you're not that old, it looks like something that your grandmother or grandfather might have used. It has all the pieces necessary to assemble it and it's a little complicated. The instructions that I had were in Chinese and the pictures were difficult to read, but I did manage to get it all put together. One of the things about this particular kit is the plastic uh, did not have all of the burrs taken off. And there were several pieces that were missing connectors or they were broken or easily broken because the material was so thin. So I, I really didn't find anything to recommend this particular kit. Even though you can learn a little bit about cameras and in particular the shutter. I'll show how the shutter works here because I spent a lot of time getting it right and it was hard to figure it out from the instructions. So this is the shutter mechanism and I did get it to work. Um, you have to balance the springs just right and it depends on uh, partial holds of uh, bumps in the shutter itself in order to make it work right. So it's um, a little bit tricky but it can be done and that's perhaps the only worthwhile part of that project. The key to the difficulty is is the wings the sides of the box are put on by screws which grip the things and they're cantilevered that is they're not supported by anything so that means that you have problems with keeping the box light tight in every case so again I can't recommend this kit to anybody